Paris is otherworldly. It's an extraordinary, it's an extraordinary place. The Outer Hebrides are it's like nowhere else on earth. The, the landscape, the lunar type, the lunar rocks almost that they have sort of littering the surface. There's something that's just, it captures the spirit. I mean, it's a challenge to do a McNabb somewhere like Harris because the terrain, you know, the West Coast terrain, the, the mountains and the weather, but it is just magical. It's just magical. I think the, the appeal to Anna McNabb is it's not easy to do. You know, you plan to do it, you, you, you've got the day to do it. And I mean, we, we all know if, if you're a salmon fisher, sometimes to catch a salmon in, in a day, sometimes in a week can be, can be hard enough. Never mind to, to actually catch a salmon, get a stag and a brace of grouse all in the one day. It's, it's some challenge. And many subpersons tried and, and, and failed. There's a romance to doing the McNabb that your normal driven shooting day on your normal stalking day doesn't have. Because when you do it, you set off on a mission, on an adventure, into the sort of unknown. Quite a challenge to try and do six in one day. <laughs> We've never done that before, but we'll give it a go. We've some, some, seen some great shots. We had somebody out the other week and they had about 20 shots at grouse and just couldn't hit the second one. Just couldn't do it. And they were knackered, they had no energy left in them. So it's, it's not just about... It's about getting into the sport, getting getting into it, and also having enough energy and stamina to last the day as well. It's it's not easy. Paul and Robert set out first thing, straight to the hill. So left the rest of us fishing and went straight to the hill. The idea was to try and find a stag as soon as possible. You know, normally one takes a week to, a week of stalking or a week of sporting, you know, excitement and fun, but this is a day. And to get it right in the space of a few hours, really, you do need all the luck with you. They'd sighted several, they got into positions for a couple, and then the wind would shift and the stag would catch wind of them and disappear. It is, it's disheartening. If you, you have to pull yourself together. The wind kept swirling, it was a really, they were really difficult conditions. Also creates a massive challenge for the walked up grouse because these birds are rocketing. Um, but Paul and Robert, both great shots. Um, went with Finley and his pointer and bagged the brace of grouse. And then it was time for the fishing. Whoever had caught the fish, they would have then been swiftly taken straight up to the hill. You know, people had been spying where the, um, you know, where the stag were, so there was every chance they could, if they get a fish, they would have completed the McNabb. but the wind was terrible. I mean, the, the waves, nothing really was showing, its, showing itself. Sometimes there are people whose sporting, who's sporting sort of spirit just, you know, just won't let them give in. So that's when he waded out, um, standing sort of bottom deep in his breeks, and it was freezing by this point. That's what the McNabb is about, actually. It's about the sort of, it's not wanting to stop until the elements force you to. The wind in the end got up to, we were having gusts of sort of 40, 50 miles an hour, which meant that the fish just weren't really playing game. You go out there to get a McNabb. Um, sometimes you succeed and sometimes you don't. The joy when you do get it is, is amazing. You know, you, you see it in the people. If we'd all gone and come back with six McNabs, wouldn't really have been the challenge. The skill and the fates have to align. And when that happens, that's when the magic occurs. Of course, it was tinged with a bit of melancholy, but there was another sense there as well of a sort of, that you get after a sporting day done well. When you're with a group of like-minded contemporaries and you're doing something like that and you're in the wilds and you're on a place like Harris, not many people get to experience that. And we were very lucky. As you say, it's always next year. There is always next year. <laughs>